Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today back in Metal Gear Solid 2, grabbing more dog tags. We are doing the tanker on normal today. This is going to be a lengthy one. I recommend having very easy and easy beaten already so you can have the bandana because you are now starting with limited ammo. So instead of 106 like on very easy or 86 like on easy, you start off with 46 and that is pretty limited. But with the bandana, you get infinite ammo. So just like any other difficulty, you have the three guys on the outside deck who will pretty much just surrender their dog tags very easily. I recommend killing them by throwing them off of the ship. The reason for that I'll get to in a bit. But if you've watched the other parts, you already know what's in store. Alright, so you have this guy on the uh, upper level right here. And once again, just take him out like normal. The three guys on the outside of the ship are very easy to get. And, you know, it's the same for every difficulty. So just run to the right. The guy on the right will be over here. You can either drop down or you can try to time it where you can go downstairs. Snake moves slow on stairs, so I like to drop down. You might take damage, or you are going to take damage. But if you're playing on a higher difficulty, like on extreme, and you have a very low life bar, that might um, come into play. Alright, so freeze him and get your dog tag. And now you actually want to kill this guy. Drag him off of the ship and just throw him off the side. I've already shown you this twice, in fact. Alright, get rid of him. We don't want him waking up and causing any trouble. Now you have to get your grip level to level 3 and have fun doing pull-ups for like 20 minutes. And that is a long arduous process. You should probably should be good at it by now. But anyways, there's level 3. Once you hit level 3, you can stop. Stop showing off. And then you actually want to enter the ship. So you do that by just heading around the front. If you killed the first guy, that you lower your chances of him seeing you, as well as the guy on the second floor, because on normal difficulty and higher, he'll actually look down and can actually chase you. So you want to go over here, open the, the uh, door, and head on side the ship. Start off in deck A, as always. Alright, so you're going to go down the hallway. You can head inside the locker room to grab a ration if you need health. And you can also grab some ammo, because you are using limited ammo, so I recommend grabbing ammo whenever you can if you don't have the bandana. Alright, this guy is going to require a lethal um, stick up, so you can just trank him for now. We'll worry about him later. Head into the next room. And you're going to have a few guys in here as always. You're going to have three guys in here. And they'll be right here. Alright, so this guy's really easy to get. Just uh, make sure the other guy isn't looking this way and you can chase him into the lounge. Make sure that guy walks away and get your dog tag. Better hurry up before he turns around because that guy will look in here. And then we're just going to try to grab the dog tag. He got stuck on the uh, chair right there. That's not good. There we go. This guy's also very easy to get. Just wait till he has his back towards you. You can just hide over here. He doesn't have that far of view of vision. And you can just sneak up behind him and snap your dog tag. Really easy. And there we go. And it's another one down. Continuing on, you want to skip the third guy. If you've watched their videos, you know where he is. But he's going to require a lethal intimidation, so you can skip him for now. Head into deck B, that is over here. And you want to grab the first guy. He's going to be around the corner. Just wait till he starts walking. Any second now, there we go. Sneak up behind him. Tag him and grab your duck tag. As you can see, a nice little trick is if you're facing the wall and you point your gun there, you won't have to waste a bullet. Because once you pull out your gun, uh, you have to hit the X button, and when you let go, you're obviously going to fire. Alright, on normal difficulty, there will finally be a guard down here, in like the most useless part of the ship, which is the southern part. You just want to hide out in this corner until he turns around and walks away from you. And he'll never look up the hallway, so you can actually hide in that little crevice right there. But, you know, we like to play it safe. Grab this guy. It's also very easy. This is literally the most useless part of the ship. But it is also the most forgettable. So grab that guy. That's another easy one down. 
And continuing on, you just want to head into the next room. So just do that by going back to the main hallway and heading up the stairs. All right, you're in this room with the camera and you get past that by just pressing yourself against the wall and just trying to slide across. Very easy, no guards in here, not yet anyways. Not in your first go. But that's also very easy. Head upstairs and you're gonna be in deck D. There's going to be more guards in here than usual because we are playing on a higher difficulty. You're not the first guy. He's gonna require a lethal intimidation. So you can just trank him or find out the hard way like I did and waste your time. All right, sneak past the camera. Just press yourself against the wall and you can just do it. You want to time it so you can get this guy without him spotting you. Uh, careful not to trip the syntax and just grab your next dog tag. There we go. That's another one down. All right, run upstairs and we're going to skip ahead to the uh, Olga fight. You don't want to see that. All right, once you defeat her, drag her body and she should drop her dog tag. There we go. And you can grab the ration if you took damage. And just want to go over here. Go around the control deck and you should spawn the other guard. And he'll be right there. And you can just tag him. He's very easy to get. And there we go. Alright, here is something that I haven't shown you on the other difficulties. This is available on all the other difficulties, but I highly recommend starting to use this for normal Anire. If you climb the crow's nest, in the second um, like basket area, there will be the SOCOM suppressor. And what it does is it makes your uh, pistol gun a silenced gun. So it will be like your trank gun where it doesn't make any noise. And that will help out a bunch. So grab that and head back into the um, control deck. And what you can do is you can get some ammo in here. That's pretty important because you can start doing lethal intimidations right now. So grab this ammo and head on out. And time to start doing some backtracking. Just get all the guards that we couldn't get before. So the, your first step, once you hit the uh, D corridor, you want to take this guy out where he got him. Make sure you shoot him in the head so he doesn't call for backup. Bust out your um, handgun and clear the semtax by shooting the remote. Uh, and you want to wait here and time it right so you can get this guard when he's not looking. Might take a while, so you know just be patient. And he's just gonna look around. Any second now, he's gonna look at the door occasionally, so that's why you don't want to jump in too early and. All right, so, okay, nope, oh, can't do that right there. Don't know why I'm showing all this, should have cut it. All right, so rush in and tag him, there we go. And shoot him in the arm, uh, that'll save you some time and it'll save you one bullet. All right, so stick him up like normal and he'll give us your dog tag and you can finish him off or you can make him stay alive, you know, up to you. Take out the camera, because that thing is annoying and grab some more ammo if you need it. We're using the bandana, so we don't need it, but you know, just because it's there, you know, might as well get it. Next step is very important. Drag this guy into the diner. The reason for this is we're going to grab the pantry guard and we don't want him investigating investigating this guy because that would be all bad. You can grab a ration in here if you need more health, but you know, up to you. Run into the pantry. I've already shown you this. Um, and you can get the items. There's ammo right here and there is the trademark cardboard box. Just crouch here until he comes in. Just wait. Takes him a while. And he'll be right there. He's going to turn around and then shut his eyes for a second. That is your time to sneak up on him. Have your handgun out. Shoot one of his arms and then continue to intimidate him. And you can net yourself another dog tag. There we go. And then you want to leave. Just uh, get on out of here. Too many dead guys in this room. Head downstairs and this is the camera room. Again, deck C. There will now be a guard here. He's just creeping around there. You want to take out the camera first. So just shoot it out. Boom. And then you want to hide over here. And then he should pass you. 
and you can tag him right here and nab your next dog tag this guy doesn't require a lethal one he just doesn't spawn until you fight olga so you know just grab his dog tag and you can continue on you can walk down the hallway now with no camera to worry about moving on over here deck b we got both of these guys so you don't need to worry and let's do this i have this guy he's gonna be around and pausing for some reason you know you don't have to do that but you can just kill this guy you know killing is fun all right so finish that guy off he should be bleeding his orange juice everywhere um all right head through this room and you should be in deck a now and then you have this guy you can just finish him off just really easy and the other guy shouldn't be here, you know, you can check around if he's there, you know. I checked for you, don't worry. I'm, I'm sure he's not there. Head downstairs and get the ration guy, as I like to call him, or the moth guy, you know. And stick him up, and you have to shoot one of his arms, and nap your duck tag. Boom, there we go. Finished him off. The moths can uh, eat him now. Alright, uh, grab some bullets if you need it. Should be good on bullets. Uh, if, if you don't have the bandana, you know, stock up on bullets. Trust me, you don't want to be running out. That's not a good thing. Alright, you want to go back to deck A. We're going to backtrack and get this guy. He should be on the opposite hallway, so you can uh, not worry about going in this hallway. Grab some uh, ration if you need it, and some ammo if it's still there. And he's going to be patrolling this hallway. You just want to hide over here. Wait till he passes by and turns around, and you can nab your dog tag. And there we go. You can shoot him in the arm, save yourself one bullet, or you can uh, shoot away. Uh, get used to shooting them in the arm on the higher difficulties, because what will happen on the higher difficulties is you might shoot and the bullets might attract another guard. That is a pro tip for when you are playing on hard and extreme. All right, so we're gonna go back here to the uh, crew lounge. You can, uh, the other guard should respawn, but we uh, got his dog tag, so you don't have to worry about him. You can kill him if you want to, or leave him alone. You know, depends on if you are, are a good Samaritan. Grab the stun grenade if you need it, and head into the engine room. You can have this bit that gets annoying after three playthroughs, but uh, tag this guy. You know, you can only get this guy once. All right, here's a tip: do not kill him. Uh, because if you kill him, he will fall down the railing and crush the guard beneath him, and that is all bad. So I cut that out, but that is a tip. Do not kill that guy. Uh, that will mess things up for you. Unless you can save and load, you know, save trick for the win, right? All right, get this guy. He is over here. Also, careful when you, where you shoot that gun. Uh, you don't want to have any stray bullets. Get this guy. I killed him because just because. Next guy, uh, same strategy as the other two difficulties, just go downstairs, make sure you watch his path of vision on your assault on radar, and when he's looking the other way, that is your time to strike, and there you go. You don't have, you actually don't have to shoot him in the arm, I just wanted to, because he was bugging me, so, you know, I just got him, and I finished him off. You know, that, that's what happens when you have infinite ammo, you can just be a killing machine. Especially on the plant level, when you actually have machine guns. Uh, but, you know, that's for a later video. Alright, you're gonna get this guy. Make sure you get him while he's at the corner. If you get him while he's in the, like, railing, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to drag him out. Just wait for him to be right here. Uh, and you can nab your next, uh, thing. This guy requires a lethal, so shoot off his arm, and you should get it. No problem. There we go. Got it. And he's gonna fall down. Very tragic. Alright, uh, jump cut right there. I, I didn't get a game over and had to restart the level, I swear. Um, grab some bullets if you need it, and then head upstairs. I like getting the upstairs guy first because what would happen is if you get the downstairs guy first, your bullet might attract this guy. So I like to get this guy because this guy tends to look down also. So I got him first, and then I worked on the downstairs guy. So keep keep track of him on your Salton radar, you know, just make sure you know where he is. And don't be stupid and go downstairs too early like I almost did right there. And you can nab him right there, really easy. And just get your dog tag.
There's a lot of guards in the engine room on the higher difficulties. Um, so, you know, be prepared to do that. Alright, actually go into the other part of the engine room. You're going to have that other guard that opens the door. You're going to have your little cutscene. Just uh, skip it if you need to and wait for this guy to come out. And uh, it takes a while. And he... Any second now. There you go. Uh, once he comes out, just sneak up behind him and nab your next dog tag. There you go. This guy will require a lethal, so bust out your USP and uh, get ready to do that. Uh, there we go. And uh, actually, no, I don't think he requires it. I just, uh, I guess I got confused with the, his whole radio spiel. Anyway, skipping ahead to the holds, you're gonna have these guys again. It is the same as any other difficulty. You can have the three guys, you can have the first guy, you're just gonna um, uh, wait till you see him on your Salton radar and hide in the room next to him. You wanna just tuck behind in this corner right here and wait till he passes. And then he's gonna look in here. You should be safe in this corner unless you move around like an idiot. Even when he looks up, that corner will keep you safe. And wait till he continues down the hallway and Freeze him, there we go. And nab your dog tag. And uh Am I having a little trouble? There we go. Just put the gun like right through his face. Not 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 on his face, through it. Like the uh, barrel is coming out the back of his head. Cause you know, that's how Solid Snake does it. And this is Solid Snake with sunglasses. Uh, it's an Easter egg if you play New Game Plus on normal. Alright, you can have this guy, he's gonna be jamming out to music, same thing, just uh grab him it's very easy yeah, he comes pre-distracted that's how easy it is all right so grab your dog tag you get some bullets if you need it you're gonna have this guy it's the third guy he is pretty tricky you want to make sure you have some magazines on you uh, equip your magazine I only have one here for some reason and just throw it across he should go inspect it and then bust out your gun any gun should do and you can freeze him I got lucky and froze him like right before he started moving so uh, there we go, got another dog tag, super simple. Skipping ahead to the Marines uh, section of the game. You want to have your tranquilizer gun out, because remember, if you get a kill here, it will be game over. Prepare to do the save trick a lot. So, what I recommend doing before this segment on any difficulty, just to get into the practice of it, is to make a save, because these dog tags are the most pain in the ass. Alright, first one you're gonna get. You want to trank this guy right here. He is hiding behind the crate right there. You can kind of see him. That guy will mess this up for you. So you want to make sure you take him out. And that is very important. Alright, so got him. Uh, here we go. Just making sure he's down. Alright, so you can either duck and crawl underneath the projector. I like using a cardboard box because you can unequip it with one button instead of waiting for Snake to do the whole stand-up animation. Uh, tag this guy by the projector. Um, he's been in other difficulties, so that's really not nothing to worry about. Get him. Get the dog tag. Uh, call Otacon and save. So we're using the save trick again. And the save trick helps out a ton, especially if you don't want to deal with multiple guards. Alright, anyways, um, back at the beginning. Do the same thing. Head on downstairs or down ladder. Down ladders. Uh, I don't know. But we're going to be getting the guy we tranked earlier, um, and uh, tranking the guy that we got. If that makes any sense, just just watch. Trust me. Uh, right. Alright, so tag the guy next to the projector this time, since we already got him. He will be out of the way, because he's annoying. Either crawl under the projector or use my box method, I don't know, up to you. If you got something against cardboard boxes, that's up to you. Alright, you're gonna have this part. Do not step on the grate. You will cause noise and make him turn around. Alright, stand up behind him. Be very careful you don't bump into him. Very careful. And tag him right here. Alright, be careful where you shoot your bullet. Because if it goes flying off into the crowd, they might hear it and go to inspect. And you don't want that. Grab your next dog tag and continue on. Oh, I recommend saving. Also, no, I, I do recommend saving because what you want to do now is forcefully get a game over and start all the way back from the beginning. Head down the ladder and head all the way down. All right, so you're here. Um, take out the same two guys because we already got them. You want them to be out of the way. 
and then you can either crawl underneath the projector, use the box strategy, up to you. And you want to kind of zigzag your way here, careful not to bump into anybody. Uh, don't, don't, don't bump into that guy, because uh, that'll mess you up. And head into hold number two, which is right over here. And then now, you want to move on over here, underneath the projector, and there will be this guy by the projector. You want to tag him. But you also want to keep in mind where the guards are facing. So if they're facing in this direction, obviously you don't want to go in front of the projector. So you have to go around the crate and just try to wedge yourself in here. Once again, careful where your bullet lands and just try to nab it right here. Alright, got it. You can save right now or you can walk all the way back to hold one. You want to go back to the starting area. Go down one ladder. And this is why we got our grip level to level 3. And you want to shimmy across the way. And this will take a while. And don't worry about the time. Uh, this way saves you actually a lot of time. Um, and you're going to have a ton of time just to do the last part to uh, beat the game actually. And uh, just slowly making your way across the uh, railing right here. Alright, you're going to be here. You're going to have the same guard from the other two playthroughs. Just hop on up and try to sneak up behind him and nab your next dog tag. We've got this like a lot of times. And grab it. There we go. It's another one down. Alright, continue on to hold number two. Just move on over here. And we already got the one guy here. There's another guy uh, in hold number two, but we're going to save him for last. So just shimmy across and make your way to hold three. Don't worry about uh, getting the other guy. He's on the floor. You can't get him from here anyways unless you want to kill yourself, but, you know, up to you. All right, so uh, tag that guy. He'll be right next to the door. Just get him. He's very easy. Uh, there's one more dog tag down. All right. Uh, continue on. You want to just... Leave him alone and continue past Metal Gear Ray here. Slide down the fire pole. Whoop. All right, uh, get the guy nodding off. He always has a dog tag, which is pretty cool. All right, get him. And you want to careful not to nudge him because that will cause a game over for some reason, at least in my case. And get your dog tag. There we go. And the next guy is going to be around here. Just want to... Uh, look for him. Uh, he'll be walking around uh, off to the left right here uh, and he will be uh, separated from the group so tag him. Careful where your bullet lands. I like to aim for the crate so I can just disarm myself without actually shooting and he will surrender his dog tag. There we go. Very simple. Alright we're gonna go back to hold two right now to get the guard we skipped. Um, this one requires timing with the projector so Keep that in mind. Um, you don't want to get spotted. So, you know, we're slowly making our way here. Um, just slowly. He'll be on the left side right here. So you want to keep your eye on your Salton radar. He'll be that guy, the guy who walks away from the group. You want to crouch and crawl on this, obviously, because the grate makes noise. And just slowly sneak up behind him and nab your dog tag before the projector turns this way. You have to be very fast and time it right, but it might take you a couple tries, but you'll get it. And grab your last dog tag. That's all there is for this part. Check back soon for more, and you can finish your achievement and stuff.